Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Moni and I talk about makeup, sometimes preview makeup, do makeup purchases, show off how I like them and give my, give my honest review. Um, I also do a lot of magic related videos. Not a lot, just unboxing for right now. So I wanted to do a quick video on just some stuff that I have purchased and I wanted to talk about them and show them off and give you guys um, just talk about it. So first of all, I'm already moisturized and my eyes are slightly stained because I did use the Melt Cosmetics um, paint pot, the purple paint pot uh, for eyeliner yesterday. So that does stain your eyelids. So that's why I don't have makeup on. It's just that they're stained. And two, my voice sounds a little rough just because I did get sick um, this week. I had a cold for maybe like two days, but it's practically gone now. Um, any parents out there know if you have kids and they're babies and they don't know how to sneeze, covering their mouth, they'll sneeze all over your face and you're bound to get sick. So that's exactly what happened to me. My son just kept sneezing on my face. so. I got sick but I don't really mind it just because I don't get sick that often so when I do it's it's okay so the first product I wanted to talk about was sunscreen sunscreen is really important right now especially at least here in California it's starting to get really really warm you can see summer's already coming even though it should be freaking spring but yeah it's California it's always hot so I bought two different sunscreens um, I I was using before the Fenty moisturizing sunscreen, but I just finished it. I ran out and I was thinking of, I was trying to figure out if I should go and buy another one or just try a different brand. So I decided to try out some other um, brands, not high end that you can purchase at any store. So I did go to Target since it's one of my favorite stores to go to. And I bought this Versed um, sunscreen. And I, I usually like to look for um, that they don't have any white cast and non-tinted. I don't like them tinted, especially if I don't want, like if I'm going to go running, I'm going to put some sunscreen and I don't want to wear makeup when I'm running. Um, but here it says how to use, smooth a penny size amount into skin, refer to drug facts for complete directions and warnings, wears on face and neck, and it says, <laughs> wears, it's wear, face and neck. Then when AM as the final step in your in your skincare routine, it has 79% per post customer recycled plastic, so it's pretty recyclable. Um, the reason I bought this is because why I threw away the box. They don't test on animals, so that's good. It has 15.2% zinc oxide sunscreen, guards up daily. Mineral sunscreen, board spectrum, SPF 35, C fennel, and mor Morninga seed extract. Extract, I don't know. So yes, I got this one. I've used it. I've used it for like two weeks already. I like it. The only thing I did not like, I thought it wasn't tinted. This one is tinted, but when you put it on, let's see. See. But when you put it on, it um, if you start, I think it's the color f like that for everyone. But as you start applying it, it starts turning white and then it disappears. So see, it starts going white, and then it disappears, and it's not shiny, so it doesn't leave you all shiny. And since I do, since I am an avid makeup wearer. I don't like it when it gives me a white cast on my makeup. So see, that's already on that side. Um, this one cost me about, I believe, twenty to twenty-five dollars. Um, I just wanted a good facial sunscreen. So if you want to spend that much, there's this one. I'm, I like it. It's fine though. I would prefer a higher SPF. Um, I believe this one's also another reason I got it was because of, um, it blocks not just UVA, but UVB, um, and it also, I believe it's 
it's, it helps with wrinkles and anti-aging, I believe. I'm not 100% sure, but I believe that's what I read on the box, which I threw away. Um, but as you guys know, I have fine wrinkles. I have crow's feet, and you can tell, at least in person you can, and I'm trying to take care of those as much as possible. I mean, I'm not that bad with my aging. I think I look pretty young for my age, but still. still. And then I bought another one, which was much cheaper. Um, I bought the Sun Bump, but it's 70%. I mean, it's 70. Um, it's 70 SPF. Uh, it says Premium Sunscreen Face Lotion. Uh, UVA and UVB Board Spectrum SPF 70 Water Resistant 80 Minutes. This one they say to put it 15 minutes before prior going out into the sun. But here it says 80 minutes or water resistant for 80 minutes, maybe. Lightweight, oil free, fragrance free, breakout free, dermatologist tested, gluten free, vegan. Shake it up. Um, so this one has like a huge list in the back compared to this one. This one doesn't really have much. Um, I'm sure it has most of the uh, ingredients on the box, which again, I threw away. But this one has a bunch of ingredients. Ingredients. Let's see. Yeah. Um. Oh, no, this one also says applied liberally 15 minutes before sun exposure. Reapply after 80 minutes. See, I don't know how that happens. If you're like a makeup wearer, and I've seen some videos from um the the, the Welsh twins. I think it was James Welsh Welsh. Or Robert one of them talking about um, how to reapply when you have your makeup on but like if you're all B and you have highlight bra um, bronze contour blush how do you reapply sunscreen over your makeup without ruining it unless you use the spray um, originally I wanted to get the Pacifica sunscreen which I've heard really good things about but I was torn because of the the SPF I want a high SPF I want as much protection on my skin as possible. When I'm exposed to the sun for too long, one, I turn red right away. Then I get a beautiful tan, of course. But I also get um, freckles. I think they're sun freckles. And I don't like them personally. But yes, the only thing with this one, it's very, it's very liquidy. So when I apply, see, it just drips. So it does come out white and the times I've used it, it doesn't leave a white cast. So I just rub it all over with my hands. Okay. So I have both sunscreens on either side. there so yeah these are the two sunscreens i've sorry these are the two sunscreens i've purchased and i've been using for a few weeks now um you guys you have to wear sunscreen sunscreen is very important i used to wear the neutrogena oops the neutrogena sports sunscreen um just because that's the one that we used to wear the oil free one and i really liked it i didn't have a problem with it i just felt like Excuse me. I just felt like um, dipping my toes into different sunscreens and seeing what I like. And yeah, just just because. Oh my goodness. Um, yeah, so those are the two sunscreens I've been using. I really like them. Wanted to show them off to you guys. Now, the next product is the e.l.f. Um, CC Camo. The Camo CC Cream. This already comes with SPF. What? SPF 30. And I got mine in shade light two, 280N. Um, it's really good. I actually like it quite a bit. Sorry, my kids are crying. They're outside right now. You know moms, well, you know parents, when you hear you could cry and you're trying to pay attention to see what's going on. Um, but yes, this is my CC cream. If during summer, if you're the type of person that doesn't like wearing too much foundation or doesn't like wearing foundation or doesn't like wearing makeup or doesn't like a heavy face during the summer because it's going to melt off, um, I would recommend this one. I mean, it's pretty heavy actually, but 
just use a little bit if you don't like if you don't like it that heavy then i would recommend the um nyx the nyx cc cream bb cream uh, let me go grab it this is too too heavy for your skin um then so i'm just putting like a really really small pea size not even a pea size that's like smaller than a pea size but if it's if the color it's not sheer enough for you see i mean i think it's pretty good i think the coverage is good but it's not too heavy i think personally of course if you add more i'm pretty sure you can build it up but i'm not building it up because i'm using it literally as just something to even out my skin tone when i'm out and i don't want to wear heavy makeup if that's too heavy then i would recommend the nyx bb cream which i've made a video on this before and this one is way way much more um what's the word translucent no it's not translucent is it translucent you can actually see your skin through it so here's another small dab so you can see your skin I mean, you can see a difference but I mean you can see a difference on both of these how this has much more coverage than this one but they're both really good for summer this one's almost done so that's why I wanted to get another one and the only thing I didn't like about this BB cream is it doesn't have any SPF um, compared to this one that does have SPF so you already have your sunscreen on and then you have this on top so that's much more coverage than you usually would have you can apply it with your hands but I personally like applying it with a with a sponge and I just do one one pump okay so I just applied the CC cream and I feel like my skin looks very nice it looks it looks like skin it doesn't look like I have that much makeup on or it doesn't really look like I have yeah it doesn't look like I have that much makeup on and I didn't use a primer just because I'm trying to do it as natural or as minimal minimal makeup as possible um, but yes I would recommend this if you're the type of person that likes to even up their skin tone and not want to have to do too much makeup because of summer or maybe if you're going to go and work out and you just want some sunscreen and you want to even out your skin because you don't want to look so scary or something, then feel free to use that. I would, I like it. So far I like it and I don't feel like it's too, too dewy. dewy. I think your own skin oils and the heat are going to warm it up and then you'll look very dewy. Um, but yes, I like that one and I would recommend it. And like I said, I literally just used one pump and I used my sponge to apply it. Um, and it did a fantastic job. Um, next I want to talk about my e.l.f. <laughs> it's so dirty. I, as you can tell, I've been using it a lot, but my e.l.f. cream contour palette, I purchased this. I've been wanting to use some cream contour um just because i feel like my skin has been very dry and i'm trying to avoid using too many powders and start moving towards creams um when milk cosmetics came out with their sculpt stack they came out with the deep sculpt stack cream palettes or stack cream pa cream stack and then they came out with their light to medium powder stack uh, so I did purchase the powder stack, which I've used several times before, and I was using the light, um, the light sh bronzer and contour to contour my skin, which was working fantastic, but I felt like I wanted it much more noticeable, so I started going towards the medium shades. Um, but since I'm trying to move towards creams, I didn't purchase the deep um, contour cream stack just because I felt like it was going to be a little bit too deep for me and I wasn't going to use all of the stacks. I mean, they're beautiful. I know they're going to be gorgeous and I know they're going to work fantastic, but 
it would be a waste of my money purchasing them and not using them unless I would have it I would put it towards my kit and work on others which I haven't and I don't think I will be anytime soon um so yes I've been on I've been looking and I've been wanting to get a cream contour palette and I know there's a lot of good high-end contour palettes but again not everyone can afford stuff like that on a daily basis or just easily I mean I will purchase my stuff every once in a while when I have a chance but if I can find something that's drugstore and I like then I will go for drugstore and this one I recommend um, they're very creamy they're very pretty I don't think I'm gonna use it right now just because I don't I'm not trying to do too much with my makeup um, I'm trying to keep it as simple as possible but these are super duper creamy they're very very pretty um, I've been using it a lot with my KVD Good Apple Foundation and they blend very beautifully. Um, so if you're looking for any cream contour and you want to get something that's not too expensive, I would recommend the ALF Cream Contour Palette. That one is very beautiful. And another purchase that I did, I didn't really talk about it in depth in my other videos, was the Melt Cosmetics. Um, cream blush in sandy cheeks it's the only blush I bought just because I'm not huge on blush and if I do purchase a blush I would like personally I would like an orangey yellow blush like straight out orangey yellow blush I don't want close to that color I don't want coral but I want an orangey yellow blush um, so with that said I did only purchase one I got sandy cheeks which is a little orangey it's coral so I don't mind, but I use it because I'm trying to do all all creams. I know um, Milani also carries cream blush, and I'm sure more than one more than there's a bunch of drugstore brands, but I haven't gotten my hands on it just because, like I said, I haven't seen an orangey yellow blush. As soon as I find one, I will definitely be purchasing it. I know um, Lethal Cosmetics does carry the perfect orange blush that I want. But again, it's powder form and I might buy it eventually. Yeah, I think I might buy it eventually, just not right now. Um, I think I'm going to add a little bit of blush, just a little bit. And you guys can go ahead and add this just with your fingers. It's not, you don't need a, a brush to add this. I mean, you can, but you don't need to. And that's why I've been getting everything dirty because as soon as I do it with my fingers and I touch anything else that's plastic, then it really, it really stains everything else. Okay, so that's that. You can go ahead and add it with your finger, like I said, and it blends very, very nice. So <laughs> my go-to when I've been doing my makeup have literally been these three they are amazing together i've never used cream with a bunch of other cream products it's always been cream if i use a cream foundation set it and then i go with my powder blush powder highlighter powder contour bronzer and of course it's amazing i like it but i've never actually done everything cream all at once and if it, it blended amazing i love it i love those three combinations they work fantastic um, I have noticed my last video I was talking about the KVD how it breaks around my nose and after I set it for like the 10th million time properly with enough setting powder then it didn't break and it lasted all through the day until the night and it was it was it was perfect it was perfect so that was probably my bad on not adding enough um, enough setting powder just because I don't like powder I don't want to powder more than I need to um, I am combination so I don't know I just don't like it and even when I was oily I still wouldn't use that much um, powder uh, but it's probably just been me not knowing how to properly use it and now going to the brows another product that I have been using and I like I have mixed reviews on it is the NYX brow glue it is it works fantastic it does what it's supposed to do um, I don't like the applicator. I feel like this brush is too small for my brows. 
um, but it does it does set them in place where you need them. Um, I feel like it also leaves slightly a slight white cast, um, which I don't necessarily like. But if I put some um, brow pomade over it, then you can't even tell there's a white cast. But even if during summer, again, or whenever, if you're just trying to go for a very natural brow and just comb your brows and keep them in place, this is actually quite perfect. See the difference between this brow and this brow? It's very pretty, but after that I would recommend going with another spoolie, a bigger one, and really brushing that through. Because that little one doesn't really do it, at least not for me, doesn't do it for me. But it works, and what, this was $14, I think. It was really inexpensive, and it works, It's it does the job. So if you see this brow, it's all nice and pretty. And then there's this brow, which is just normal. It does also make them look bigger and thicker, because you're brushing the little hairs up. I mean, I do have to go a few times over certain hairs that are rebels and won't stay in place. Um, but eventually, eventually I get it if I take my time. But yes, um, I really like it. Like I said, I've mentioned it before. I do want to get, I still want to try out the Anastasia Brow Freeze and compare it to this one. The other one, as I've seen on Instagram and as I've seen other people review it, it does show as a clear gel so I just want to see how the gel the clear gel compares to this one which isn't clear it looks it looks milky it looks foggy so I want to see if it's if it looks different on my eyebrows since I do feel like this one leaves somewhat of a white cast over my eyebrows um, but it's not something that really bugs me all that much but yes if you're looking for a brow gel then this would be perfect you do just wash it off to remove it and it's and it's that see this one's a little crazy right now yeah see so it makes them look very nice um very brushed and put together um so if you want you can go with some with whatever brow product you use uh it can be your brow pencil powder or like I use pomade and go over that and actually fix any any parts that you feel like need to be fixed um can't find the one I usually use okay I'll go with you and you can just fix it up a little bit fix up any little holes that you see that are needing of some help minimal right now it's minimal what I want um, but yes, those are the brows. That is the brow product I've been liking. I would recommend it. It is inexpensive. You won't be spending all that much for that. And your brows look beautiful. They look in place. They look lovely. My brother complimented them as soon as he saw them. And then I told him what I was using. Um, they don't, if it's really, 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 um, stubborn hair, then it's probably not going to calm them down. Because I did try doing my husband's eyebrows and he has bushy eyebrows. I mean, they're pretty, they're shaped, but they're bushy. He has like a lot and I was trying to calm them down so I can like fix them. And this was not working on him. So, oh no, you guys can be the judge on that. But on my eyebrows, they worked. And I did have, I do have some stubborn eyebrows hairs that like to go crazy and it does set them in place, which was what I really, really needed. Um, so... Now I'm going to go to the last product that I've been wanting to talk about for ages and I just haven't because of one thing or another. The Makeup Shack um, palette in Nightfall. It is very pretty. I think I got it for $17 at um, Beauty Planet and I showed the colors. They are gorgeous. Right now I want to do a very natural, minimal makeup look. Um, just so, because I'm going to go to my parents. It's Easter Sunday, and my parents also want to give the kids some 
have them hunt for some eggs so I want to do a little a little face so I don't look too scary and I just thought I should just use this palette today so I can show off all these colors um, I'm gonna go with honey which is this gorgeous peachy color and I'm gonna take that all over the lid and it also comes with a very pretty mirror Hi. a very pretty mirror so you can use the mirror to do your makeup yeah, to do your makeup. Plus, it was very inexpensive. Look at the size of those pants. That's pretty big. That's like a lot of eyeshadow colors. Well, eyeshadow for seventeen dollars. Yep. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do my makeup, and I'll be right back. Um, but yes, that this is the final look. Um, I only used like two, three colors out of this palette, which was this peachy color. Then I went with this gorgeous, beautiful burnt orange. Um, and then a little bit and a little bit of with these two reds, um, just to deepen it up a little bit. But yes, that was the entire look i think i'm going to try some of this afterglow on the inner corners and yeah that actually does work um so i did add some of that afterglow in the inner corners of the eye um and i think it looks very pretty i have a very 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 tinsy bintsy little bit of highlight um i it's not highlight it's a shock shadow um like a moss from ColourPop. It's this very pretty green golden color, which I like, and I use that as a highlight. So you can see it. It's not too bright, but it's just just a little bit, just there. And for my lips, I use the um, House Laboratories and Mannequin. Um, it was a gift from my brother, and I really like this color. So this would be my entire look. And go ahead and set it with the Maven Rose, Rose Water um, setting spray. Which I really like. I really enjoy the scent of this one. It's very roses. Very, very rosy. Um, peanut? Peanut? Hi. <laughs> Uh, so this is the final look a very it, I feel like it's minimal many people might think it's not minimal and I did a little bit too much for it being minimal but when I mean minimal I didn't really try that hard to do this I didn't I not that I didn't put an effort I just didn't try hard to do this look it was just very simple very easy very lightweight super lightweight um, this lipstick, I like, I like it because when it starts wearing off from eating, it looks very pretty on my lips. It complements. It looks like I have like a lip liner ombre look on my lips mixed with my natural lip color. So yeah, there's, that's why I like this lip color. But yes, this is the final look. I hope you guys like it. Do you guys like my new blue hair? I got tired of the orange. I don't know what it was. I just didn't like it and now when I look back at my orange hair or my red hair or my pink hair and I'm like shit I feel like I want reds now but now I'm going to stick with this color for a little bit um it looks very nice I haven't really styled it like I wanted to just because I feel like I haven't had the time so that's the thing right now like I see these videos I get inspired I have so many ideas of what I want to do what videos I want to upload um but I feel like my time I have the time do I have the time? Well, I feel like I feel like the time is hard. Like with my babies, not using my kids as an excuse, but they get a little loud. I have to keep them down. Um, they can't be too noisy here. So it's like, yeah, I have to work my way around it. And usually the weekends is the only time, which is why I only have one video a, up a week. Yeah. At least I try to have one video up a week, and that's why I don't have a designated date on when to put up my videos. But if it were for me, I would have like two, three videos a week, I think. I want to say I would, but yeah. And I freaking love vlogs. I love watching vlogs. I love watching what other people are doing, how 
their days are or how their weeks are, um, their routines. Um, I, I love watching people clean out their fridges, reorganize their fridges, their closets, and stuff like that. I just love watching those videos. So I, I'm, I'm hoping I can do that one day in the future. Or like I had mentioned before, I want to show all of the stuff I've collected for um, like my magical stuff. All my er Is it herbs or herbs? I, I like to say herbs, but I know it's, her I've heard people say herb, herbs, herbology, herbology, I don't know, but, um, quiero enseñarles mis hierbas, que hierbas tengo, que es lo que he guardado, que es lo que, todas mis cosas preciosas que me hacen feliz, that's what I want to show you guys, so many things make me so happy, like, if I'm feeling bummed out, I just have to go towards my magical stuff, and I am happy, or go towards my makeup stuff, and I'm happy. So I want to show off some of those things that make me happy. But yeah, that's it. Um, I hope you guys like it. Uh, it was pretty quiet today because the kids are outside. Right now I have one in the shower, the other one outside playing. So um, if I can do that more, more often, I can probably do more videos. But I need the help of my husband for that. And he's only here on the weekends to help me. And during the weekdays, I'm at my parents. Or I'm at the park. Or I'm doing something with them. Uh, maybe I should vlog. Maybe I should, but I'll think about it. Okay, well, that is it. I hope you guys like it. Thank you very much. Um, I'll make a list of the products I used and which ones I like. You guys can check. Well, most of it is at Target. Most of them are at Target. I'll probably put Sephora or Ulta if something wasn't there. But, like, my skin. See, it looks so freaking pretty. And it's not just the highlighter that I added, but, like, look at my forehead. That's a very pretty forehead. And the color match was actually really, really good. I thought I wasn't going to get it. I grabbed two colors, this one and a lighter one. Um, I feel like this one's slightly, very, very slightly darker. You can't tell on the camera because I can see it right now. You can't tell. But in my mirror right in front of me, I look a bit more yellow right here. And I look more pink up here. So um, that, that happens with colors trying to get the right color it happens um but yeah i'm gonna go ahead and list everything what i used and if you guys are interested in my thoughts or opinions then there you go okay well thank you very much for watching this video if you watched it and i would appreciate a thumbs up and i would appreciate if you were to subscribe it would mean a lot to me i like doing these they make me feel sane they make me feel productive so I like it but your subscription would make me feel even better about it there you go all right thank you very much and see you guys later